history is written by the winners. History favors the victors. But you know, a lot of people, they don't seem to understand that. They, it seem like they can't comprehend that. You know, when you're at school and you're in history class and they telling you that Christopher Columbus discovered America and, you know, that Lincoln freed the slaves. I mean, that, that couldn't be further from the truth. First of all, I mean, I don't know how many people still actually believe this, because I mean, at this point, it should just be common knowledge that, you know, you can't really discover something where it's already inhabited by people, but whatever. But the fact that the notion that Lincoln freed the slaves Lincoln, I mean, it's been quoted. Lincoln said, if I can save the nation by not freeing any slaves, I would do it. If I could save it by freeing some slaves, I'd do it. If I can save it by freeing some and keeping others enslaved, I'd do it. See, so the thing is, that whole emancipation proclamation uh, amendment to end slavery and all that shit the civil war you know the slaves slaves being freed that, that was just the unintended side effect of all of it the south wanted slavery the confederate the confederacy the confederate flags that does represent slavery because that's what the goddamn civil war was for slavery we want to keep slavery down here the reason why slavery ended it's not because of some altruism or some moral some some type of moral reason no because at the time slavery it wasn't as cost effective it wasn't profitable see the thing about it is they had a feeling that slavery was going to be ending soon because it was becoming less cost efficient, right? And so the South is thinking, man, we gotta hold on to our slaves, man. We gotta hold on to our goddamn slaves, man. They ain't, they ain't, oh no, we're keeping our slaves, shit. They made our economy boom. I mean, growing all that damn tobacco and sugar and cotton. Hell no, we're keeping our goddamn slaves. So they're thinking, basically, they're thinking we're going to make sure that we keep our slaves before the eventual end of slavery even has an opportunity or a chance to even occur. See what I'm saying? So none of this shit, don't think, see, like, they're trying to make it out to where in history class, they're trying to give humans credit from an altruistic perspective and, and a morals perspective and a compassion perspective that they simply don't have. Like, they're trying to make it seem like humans are far, far removed from any other animal. No. Humans rape, humans kill, humans I mean, slave. just think about it. It couldn't have been for no, they couldn't have freed the slaves for some goddamn compassion. I mean, cause a hundred years later, you still counting black people as three-fifths of a man. Don't even get me started on women. Not even having rights to like the fucking invention of cameras. Like what the fuck is that? Like like do realize most of this shit with you know peaceful protests and people getting sick dogs sick on them and sprayed with hoses and fucking hanged and lynched and fucking curb stumped you do realize this is in recent history there are people alive today that went through this shit your grandma your grandpa probably went through this shit or know somebody personally that went through this shit this ain't some fucking ancient fucking 300 bc type shit man we talking about 
the 70s, the 60s, the 50s, man. Come on. Like, it's like humans, they want to they wanna act like, no, we're too far. We're far removed from that. No, we're not, man. This shit still goes on. It's just in a different form. You know that saying, there's nothing new under the sun? It's nothing new under the sun. It's the same thing, just a different way of doing it. It just manifests itself in a different way. You know, it's like, I mean, humans can't be too against slavery. I mean, because you got to remember, that amendment that abolished, so-called abolished slavery, that was in everywhere except the prisons. The prisons. So if you go to jail for, I don't know, a fucking a speeding ticket or some dumb shit, uh, some non-violent crime, you know, non-violent drug offense or some shit like that, you're, you're legally allowed to be enslaved enslaved so it's like that with the the notion that we as a society are so far removed from the primitive mindset that we once had that's just not the case man it's just not the case you know if think about it the the this country was literally built on slavery why do you think that the economy back then was booming? Because of slavery. What? I mean, of course, I can get a monopoly in the market if I own the means of production and the labor, I don't have to pay for it. It's free because I enslaved motherfuckers. You know? It's like... It's, it's a no-brainer. You see, they're not going to tell you what's going on behind the scenes of course they're gonna tell you america is the best country on the planet of course they're gonna tell you that they're america you know it, despite the fact that america is pretty much last in every aspect of industrialized countries you know of course of course they're gonna make it seem like the troops fighting for freedom and you know, protecting your rights to do it and say this bullshit. No, that's not the case at all. Of course they're gonna have motherfuckers misled thinking, you know, or you gotta stand for the fucking national anthem and the pledge of allegiance and all this other bullshit ritualistic symbol, symbolism and you know, you gotta wear a fucking three-piece suit, you know, just to, to look professional or some shit like that. Because all it is, it's just, they're taking their Eurocentrism and their, their standards and their ideals and saying, look, you do this, or if you don't do this, you're garbage. You're trash. Of course they're gonna they're gonna put their religion saying, talking about oh it's a Christian nation. It's not a fucking Christian nation. I mean, of course they're gonna have the literal the slaves, the literal slaves, the people that they enslave. They're gonna have them and and their descendants believing the religion that justified their ancestors being enslaved. Of course they're gonna do that. Of course, they're going to make, you know, controlled opposition in, the, in politics. Of course, they're going to tell you that your vote count and try to hype you up to persuade other people to go vote and all this shit. You know, that's, that's pacifying the populace. Of course, they're going to put a, a black man as the president. That's just, that's just tokenism. Of course they're going to do some shit like that. Like, basically what I'm, what I'm saying is everything that they do to make you think that everything's okay, of course, of course. That, that's what they want you to think. 
Of course. You know? And when I know when, when a motherfucker, some people watching this, they're thinking, look at this tinfall hat wearing son of a bitch. This conspiracy theorist son of a bitch. Look, man, I ain't saying that the world's flat or some dumb bullshit like that. I'm telling you shit that's already blatantly apparent. That they just, oh, it's, it, oh of course it's true, of course. It's fact, you know? It's just that the thing about it is, this is the funny part. Humans, most humans, they don't give a damn about what's true or not. They, they care about, see, if it's been put into the social perspective and it's put into the, the social climate as this and you say it enough times, oh, people are gonna tell you the truth. Oh, I'm not fact checking that. Or it sound, sounds good to me, fuck it. You know what, I'm gonna tell my kids that. I'm gonna teach my kids that unfact check, that unsubstantiated claim and I'm gonna and I'm gonna build a culture around that unsubstantiated claim that if you don't believe in this unsubstantiated claim, then you're stupid and you should be ostracized and shunned. You know? And now we got a culture around an unsubstantiated claim. A bunch of unsubstantiated claims. That's that's what and that's what that's what that's America, man. That's your country, man. If you're from America, if you're an American, you're patriotic, nationalism. How the nationalism, that has got to be the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. You're, you're saying that you're superior just because you happen to be born on an arbitrary landmass. And you're saying somebody else is inferior because they happen to be born on another arbitrary landmass. You know, your one true religion is somebody else's primitive superstition. You know, your adventurers are another country's primitive savages. You know, your president is someone else's fascist dictator. You know, you know, see what I'm saying? It's like, is the pot calling the kettle black? That's what the fuck it is. The tra the toilet telling the trash can that it stinks. That's, that's all the shit is, man. You thinking that, that you're superior to another country, but you're doing the same thing. The only thing is, you're saying because you, you're saying that because it's you doing it that it inherently makes it better because you do it. Somebody else does it. Oh, it's stupid bullshit. Oh, that's that's dumb dumb bullshit. Oh, look at them damn, you know, damn fucking them Arabs and them the Mexicans and all them, you know, all this racist fucking globophobic misogynist bullshit. You know, all this other bullshit. That's all it is, man. It's logical fallacy on top of a logical fallacy on top of logical fallacies. No critical thinking. Just a certain shit. You know? You know another thing? It's like, you know, there's Jim Crow laws and segregation and separate but equal, but, you know, not really equal. And, Shit like that, and it's like, god damn, you know. People in America are really irrational. Then, you know, there's KKK and, you know, shit like that. But another thing that really gets me, you know, something that really gets me, you know, black people, that, you know, old black people that'll be like, hey, Democrats, that's for black people. You know what really gets me? You know, these black people, these old black people that say, uh, Democrats, that's for black people. Republicans, that's for white people. Oh, God. 
You couldn't say something more fucking stupid. Do you realize that the KKK was supported by Democrats? Do, 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 I don't do you, uh, Left wing, right wing. Do you realize the same? It's two wings on the same damn bird, man. I don't understand. They're both bullshit. Only people that support that shit are suckers. Rich people. Look, I like that saying, man. There's two types of either Democrats or Republicans. Rich or suckers. Check your wallet to see which one you are. Buying into that bullshit, man. That shit on rig, man. That shit is rigged. Controlled opposition. Pacifying the populace. You know, it's a it's a circus. It's a fucking it's a show. You vote count. Get the fuck out of here, man. Your vote doesn't count. What what America calls liberal, what America calls progressive, that shit is it's center right in any other industrialized country. You know? That shit ain't left. That shit's not left. That's not um, all this shit is, is corporate is corporatism. All of it. All of it is is fucking global capitalism, crony capitalism. It's all corporate, man. All of these politicians are bought. But the thing about it is, you know, when people say that oh your vote doesn't count if you vote third party if you vote third party your vote doesn't count you know you gotta pick the lesser of two evils man the lesser of two evils if you're saying that you're literally saying that yeah this shit is all rigged and you don't have say so in the government in a so-called when you say that if you vote for third parties that your vote doesn't count that you're just throwing your vote away you know you say you're admitting that it's all bullshit why why are there two parties so you so you're just telling me that the elected officials don't represent the citizens that's what you're saying so if you're saying that don't say it's a democracy if you're saying that don't say you know all of the don't don't dick ride all of this bullshit man don't dick ride don't don't start dick stop the dick ride man rich white landowners that's what this shit was made for rich white landowner if ain't that sorry sorry pal you got invited to the party man <laughs> you know what's funny people think that just because you pass a law or a bill or an amendment that everything is just gonna magically be solved that's not the case you know all, all that shit i just written that just words on a paper yeah paper uh, just a piece of paper is gonna solve everything you know like once they saw they pass all these these laws and these bills and these amendments that every city in the fucking country is gonna be this homogenous mixture of human beings and everybody's gonna gather around a campfire saying kumbaya and all that bullshit it's not how that shit work man you know you how the fuck you gonna make somebody stop being racist by writing on a piece of paper you know hey stop being racist it's illegal to be racist i don't give a fuck fuck those niggers fuck those niggers those wet backs those goddamn ragheads those spicks, those Jews, fuck them. You, you racist. You know, that's another dumbass thing, man. How the fuck is saying, telling somebody that is a devout racist, that they're racist, how is that solving anything? Fuck those niggers. Hey, you racist. Hell yeah, I'm racist. I'm a devout racist, nigger fucking nigger I don't understand you know you uncle Tom ass niggas you know dick riding and all of this shit kissing ass you look goofy as hell you 
you know, fucking redneck, racist niggas. Y'all are goofy as hell. Y'all are goofy as hell fighting each other because, um, that's exactly what the fuck they want, man. They want y'all asses fighting each other. It's called divide and conquer. They divide you so they can conquer you easily. That's what it is, man. That's the name of the game, man.